Betty's mom bought her a bucket for her school because she was a boarding school student. It was a mix of green and yellow colors with some circular designs in red on it. It was a plastic bucket just big enough for bathing and washing her clothes. Just like the properties of the bucket listed above, the trouser carbonate 4 also has its varying properties. Would you like to know them? Let's go. The trouser carbonate 4 of alkali metals and ammonium are soluble, while the other trouser carbonate 4 are insoluble in water. So you have sodium carbonate plus water will give sodium hydroxide plus carbonic acid. The trouser carbonate 4 of sodium, potassium, and barium cannot be decomposed by heat, while others decompose on heating to liberate carbon dioxide. Zinc carbonate decomposes to give zinc oxide plus carbonates. All trouser carbonate 4 reacts with dilute acids to form carbon dioxide, to form carbon dioxide, water, and a salt. So you have sodium bicarbonate reacts with H2SO4, that's sulfuric acid, to give sodium sulfate plus water plus carbon dioxide. So we have learned that there are various properties of the trouser carbonate 4 salts. The trouser carbonate 4 of alkali metal and ammonium are soluble, while the trouser carbonate 4 are insoluble in water. So you have sodium carbonate reacts with water to give you sodium hydroxide and carbonic acid. The trouser carbonate 4 of sodium, potassium, and barium cannot be decomposed by heat, while others decompose on heating to liberate carbon dioxide. So we have the equation zinc trouser carbonate decomposes to give zinc oxide and carbonic. So the equation is sodium carbonate reacts with sulfuric acid to give you sodium sulfate and water and carbon dioxide. I'm sure you enjoyed today's lesson. See you in the next one.